Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy T for 365 Horror Vlog, and we are a movie discovery channel. I am just here to put as many horror movies on your watch list, so let's get into a new release video right now. Now we are going to get right into the new movies, but before we do, I've got to remind you guys to please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, also, my videos are best watched with a movie tracker. I like to use an app called Letterboxd. I find it just keeps everything really organized and you can sort by genre or release date. So even if you have other movies that aren't horror movies on the list, you know, you can easily filter them out if you're in the mood for a horror. So make sure you check that out. Now let's get right into it. The first movie we're going to look at this time is a drama horror called Bad Girl Boogie, and it's on VOD. Halloween blood is shed by the wearer of a parasitic mask cursed with black magic and bigotry. Angel's friend is killed by a person wearing the same mask. They must overcome their struggles, fight, fear, find the killer before he slaughters everyone. It is directed by Alice Mayo McKay. Okay, after watching the trailer for Bad Girl Boogie, this looks like a pretty good slasher film. From the, what I've seen in the trailer, it looks like it's brutal and has pretty good killings and blood in it. Uh, the only thing I would be aware of is you are going to get a pretty heavy political subtext in this movie. Not only does it mention hate and bigotry in the write-up, but you also see parts of it in the trailer. Uh, they talk about how no one cares about queer kids and stuff like that. So if you're not really into a political message, this movie might turn you off. But other than that, it does look like a pretty interesting story. It's about a mask and it seems to possess the wear and to becoming like some sort of homicidal maniac. Again, against queer people and in the trailer even one of the persons says what does the mask do and it says it frees you so you're definitely going to get like more of that kind of message and it should be an interesting movie if you are interested in seeing a slasher with these kind of subtext to it put it on your watch list some psycho kills her and they're more freaked out that she's queer <laughs> she was killed probably by someone just like them Next, we're going to take a look at a straight horror, and it's called Time's Up on VOD. On New Year's Eve, a faculty party for teachers, still reeling from the suicide of a bullied student, goes horribly wrong when an unexpected guest arrives with an unusual request. Participate in a scavenger hunt or die. It is directed by L.C. Holt. Okay, after watching the trailer for Time's Up, this looks like another decent slasher. Uh, the budget looks a little bit low on it, but again, it has an okay setting. I do like the fact that it almost encompasses a bit of a, a Saw feel, how you have to... Uh, I guess it's not really Saw, because that was between two decisions, and this one is more of a scavenger hunt, but I like when the killer plays games with people, you know what I mean? And it's like, you have to do weird things or die, or it just makes for an interesting movie. Um, again, aside from the fact that this is low budget, this might be one for your watch list. <laughs> a stage and this is entertaining next up we are going to be looking at a horror mystery called the breach on vod counting down his last days as chief of police in the tiny town of lone crow john hawkins must investigate one last case when a mangled body with uncanny wounds washes up on the shores of the porcupine river it is directed by Rodrigo Gudino. So after checking out the trailer for The Breach, this actually looks like a pretty creepy horror mystery. I like movies that are isolated. This one looks like it almost has an isolated woods feel where they're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And that always just seems to be a creepy setting. The way the trailer opens up and it kind of shows him looking at a body and they're like, have you ever seen anything like it? And they don't really show you it. It actually intrigues me to see what this movie's about and what this kind of killer is doing. There's another part where they talk about how the insides of the person have been shredded. So it could be something pretty gross and visceral. They make a lot of allusions to kind of dark black magic rituals. I I do like black magic movies and there's a part where you almost see a shadow of like a woman and outstretches her hand it's just kind of unnerving so this could be one of those creepy murder mystery out in the wilderness type movies and it might be something to put on your watch list you ever seen anything like this boss
Moving right along, we are going to look at another straight horror movie, and this one is called The Abode on VOD. In the 1800s, a young, handsome Native American named Talaco is caught with the wife of a merciless pirate known as Redbeard, who then orders for him to be burned alive at the stake. Witnessing Talaco's execution, Redbeard's wife, Laura, hangs herself. Talaco's spirit never ascends and haunts anyone who comes near the old house. Almost 300 years later, Laura and Talaco meet face to face and learn that everything happens for a reason. It is directed by Claudia LaBianca. After watching the trailer for The Abode, this looks like a kind of interesting movie, uh, although it does look a little bit low budget to me, unfortunately. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to necessarily be bad, but just some of the effects and stuff, they already looked hokey in the acting. Uh, I did like the premise of it, though. You have two kind of torn apart lovers, and now... You know, one of their ancestors has come back to an old ancient home and all these weird things start happening. Uh, I do like a lot of the imagery in it. It looks like it's got some weird shaking and just some grossness, at least, that could save the movie. Um, overall, I'm not 100% excited for this one, but in the end, this one just looks okay. But if it appeals to you, put it on your watch list. I have read many books and articles about the legend of Talaco and many studies about reincarnation. And I found that we are not alone. Next, we're gonna look at a movie described as a thriller, but it's kind of got that dark man versus wild feel. It is called Quicksand and it's on Shudder. You have to trust me. Quicksand follows a married couple almost divorcing who become trapped in quicksand while hiking through a rainforest in Colombia. They will battle the elements of the jungle and must work together in order to survive. It's directed by Andres Beltran. Okay, after watching the trailer for Quicksand, this actually looks like a pretty exciting movie. Uh, even though they describe it as more of a thriller, it's kind of got that frozen, buried element to it where they're kind of trapped in a situation and then they have to overcome a lot of things. Like you see them trapped in the quicksand. And at one point, of course, there's like a humongous venomous snake. Uh, there's people chasing them for various reasons when you watch the trailer. Uh, it looks like there's already dead bodies in the quicksand, which would be pretty creepy because how would you get them out? And it just looks like a really gritty survival movie. So especially if it goes on to like a really dark tangent where they have to do like really weird things. I know it sounds bad, but sometimes like in Frozen, there's just like a horrifying feel when you know, you she had to urinate in the seat, you know, and it's just frozen. I don't know. It just some of the man versus environment elements still could be really creepy and horrifying. This looks like a good movie to put on your watch list. Lastly, we are going to take a look at a horror thriller called The Mistress on VOD. Newlyweds move into their dream home where they discover a collection of 100 year old letters from a young woman who committed suicide after being abandoned by the owner of the home. It is directed by Greg Pritikin. After watching the trailer for The Mistress, this looks like a pretty interesting movie. It looks like it's got a nice dark vibe, very stalkerish. Uh, the premise looks like it's about a couple who moves into a new house and then they're almost haunted by previous occupants, so you're not getting anything insanely new there, but I do like the type of movies where ghosts trick people, and it looks like maybe he's tricked into sleeping with a ghost or thinking he did, and then he's stalked because she was a mistress that committed suicide, and it just looks like he's also has like a bunch of trysts with various women, cheating manly bastards. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but so it looks like there's a bunch of stuff that surrounds that, like maybe he has an affair with one of them, and then later on they go to a historian who informs him that, you know, maybe the person he slept with was the person who killed them. Themselves. I don't know yet because again, it's just a trailer, but it did have me intrigued. I did like the way the story looked. It looks like it's a good dysfunctional relationship, which are always fun to watch on screen, especially when it comes down to these kind of horror movies. And there's one part in it, he says houses aren't haunted. So yeah, I guess the movie probably ends right there or those could be famous last words as usual. This does look like a kind of interesting movie that might have some interesting unfolding and interesting events, and it could be something for your watch list. I love this house. It is so gorgeous. Some really good energy. Do you think it's haunted? Well, that's going to do it for another one of these new release videos. I hope you enjoyed this content and you found some great new movies to put on your watch list. 
Of these new releases, there's got to be the, the ones that I'd be looking forward to the most. I really thought that Quicksand looked good. Uh, I thought The Abode looked decent. I thought The Mistress looked decent. So there's a lot of good new movies coming out right now, or at least ones that appear to be. Unfortunately, you know how it goes. We watch them and only two out of the six are good. But either way, these are some new releases to check out. So leave down in the comments which ones you are looking forward to or what you think about these trailers. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.